I survived Hurricane Katrina, chapter 15. Nell eased the boat onto the ramp that led to the bridge. Part of the bridge was underwater, but the middle part was high enough that it had stayed dry. Nell switched off the engine. You'll be okay here, she said. They're bringing people to the Superdome. Someone will help you there. Barry wanted to believe her, but he knew that even before the storm hit, there had been huge crowds and not enough food or water. What would it be like now? And besides, they wouldn't let him in with crews. Barry's fear started to boil up again. A man came running over. Pardon me, he said to Nell, breathing hard. I'm trying to find my grandmother. She's out there, all alone, up on her roof. I need to get to her. I need... I'll take you, Nell said. The man nodded, wiping away a tear. Thank you, he whispered. Thank you. Barry knew he had to get out of the boat. Nell had other people to help, like she had helped him. Nell leaned over and put her hand under Barry's chin, lifting his face so he had to look at her. She didn't say anything for a moment. She just looked into his eyes like she saw something there worth looking at. You're strong, she said with no doubt in her voice. Barry didn't feel strong. His whole body shook as he got out of the boat. Crews followed him. They stood on the ramp and watched as the man pushed the boat into deeper water. He climbed in beside Nell. Nell nodded at Barry, and he suddenly had the idea he'd never see her again. She powered up her engine, and the boat pulled away. As Barry watched Nell disappear, her words echoed through his mind. You're strong. You're strong. And soon it wasn't Nell's voice he was hearing in his mind. It was his own voice. I am strong. I am strong. Was he? He was scared. He was standing there crying, his legs quivering like skinny little twigs in the wind. But did that mean he wasn't strong? Barry thought about what had happened to him. How he'd been swept off the roof and carried away. How he'd grabbed hold of that tree and climbed up. How he'd held on tightly against the wind and the rain. How he'd saved crews. How he'd made their way through the wreckage to that tiny dry patch of roof. He'd felt scared the entire time. But here he was, standing on dry ground, in one piece. He looked up, and there was his bright star, Barry Star. And right then, he knew that no matter how scared he felt, he'd find his way. Or someone would find him. An hour passed, and Barry heard a familiar voice. Barry! Barry! And then other voices, calling his name together like a song. Dad reached him first, then Mom and Cleo. Their arms wrapped around Barry, and they stood there together for a long time. The four Tuckers and Cruz, a tiny island in a huge sea.